Alright, so in today's video what we are going to do is we are going to apply the CSS from the code behind and we will try to get this effect. The header gets a light blue color and the rows get uh, the 1, 2, 3 gray color, right? Besides, when we end, we will do something like this. I mean, we will do the conditioning. If my level is greater than like uh, 1000, uh, 1, okay, greater than 1000, then highlight those rows as well from the code behind as well okay so this is with uh, what we are going to do okay so let's get started in the visual studio this is uh, what i have the page i got nothing so i'll start building the things from the scratch and before i do that let's check the database okay <coughs> and it's taking some time but it will come so as you can see i have a table the moment I open the show table data, you can see the data comes up, right? So, okay, my machine is pretty much dumb. So, this is the number of records you can see. Pretty simple database, ID, name, expert, and level. This is what I have, right? Nothing spectacular. So, what are we going to do is, first, let me get the space and let's move this guy up. Alright, so now let's get started with drawing a grid view, alright? So once your grid view is ready, you're going to call this guy GRD Highlight. I mean, we are going to highlight this grid view, right? So we are calling this guy uh, grid view as grid view highlight. That's it. I'm done here. Now let's go back back to the code behind. When your page load for the first time, uh, you will be calling uh, <coughs> a method called as a load data, which is responsible for filling your whole grid, right? So how are we going to do that? In order to do that, this method, what it does is, ah, recapper. Okay. <coughs> so the uh, I'm using the SQL adapter. I'm simply querying through my database, right? The TBL employee. One second. Let me show you. This is the name of table through which I'm querying, and I'm trying to get all the records, right? So pretty basic. So once I'm done with that, and plus I have the connection this is the connection string which i have made on the top sql connection okay reshaper is crying so i'm sorry yeah what happened okay let's do that so i have changed the things right <coughs> i got sql connection new sql connection configuration manager connection string and i got my connection string if you check out my web.config i already have the connection string within itself right so this is my employee connection string pretty simple right so once my connection string is ready i got my sql connection ready and once i fire the query i get the data into the adapter the adapter fills the data set and in the end i need to do is grid view highlight dot data bind is not the first thing but i generally choose that then i'll say data source data source is worth the data set that's it i'm done here the grid view is ready so let's run <coughs> the moment i run the grid view you see this right the data what you saw in the database right so we got different level of expertise levels and all we'll look into that later all right so first purpose we got the grid view up and running all right so now in the code behind what i showed you was i like this color to be light blue and this color to be uh like gray so let's do that right so what i'll do is i'll go into the grid view i'll go into the design mode i'll select the grid view i'll hit f4 in order to get the properties in there i will find the row data bound event and i'll double click on that it will generate a event for me right now in here that is very simple i all i gotta do is e dot row dot dot row type i need to know what is the row type is it a data row header footer right now in our case it's header so what i'll do is <coughs> i'll say e dot row that add class i'm sorry css class is equal to i'll specify the class name and i have written some css pretty basic nothing spectacular these are my classes this is how you define the classes you apply a dot and it applies a class to you right so this is what we have <coughs> for the header background i'm gonna pick this guy right so what i'll do is i'll come here and i'll paste this my class let's give it a run one more time 
and this time you would be able to see the header gets painted with blue rest all as it is so it was pretty easy right all you need to figure out is like where exactly you want to apply the glass and now next if you look at it i want the gray color light gray color right so let's move on and now you might have assumed like what i'm gonna do right so this is it and instead of header it should be data row right and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna copy this guy i'm gonna paste this guy i'll go to the ui and there's a background class over there which is a uh, which is nothing just simply assigns the color as uh, light gray let's give it a run for one more time <coughs> and this time you will see the rows get the light gray color so indeed it works pretty good right let's now as for the change i would like to find out the guys those who have the expertise level above 1000 right for those we are going to change the color we are not going to use the pink don't worry actually i didn't find any color so i chose pink right so i'll come here i'll comment this guy right now and i'll say if now if you see the structure this is a grid view right inside of which everything is like a row if i want to access the row cell i need to go one by one right so if i want to access the level so it should be 0 1 2 and 3 right so what i'll do in the code is i'll say if int dot parse okay and it expects a string so i'll say e dot row dot cells and cells has an index <coughs> so i'll say 3 okay dot i'm sorry dot text okay if this is greater than 1000 okay then simply do this else simply do this right so we want when the you know <coughs> the level is above 1000 those should be highlighted uh, with the light coral color all right so i'm gonna apply the css down here and those are the regular one below 1000 those i mean they should be normal right and reshaper is giving me a hint i hope this is very much clear now reshaper is gonna do the dot operator the question mark right then the if and else if the value is greater than 1000 then apply this css or apply the background css right so let's give a run for one more time and let's see what happens <coughs> So this is pretty good right now this is like what we are doing is like you know from the code behind we're changing so now let's make this guy as a dynamic okay so what are we gonna do now we going to make this thing dynamic in order to make this dynamic i got i have an idea in mind so i'll show you asp drop down list id is equal to ddl expert i'll call this guy as expert i'm sorry not expert this is a level right control kd this is a demo purpose right you can configure it by yourself so this is a drop down i'll say edit item i'll say text is 500 then i'll say 800 then i'll say 1000 and 1500 so, so this is for <coughs> what I have for right now make sure you check this box and simply double click on this guy and simply say load data as you remember load data is nothing but it does the job of <coughs> rebinding the whole grid so when I change my selector index it will call the load data and actually it will fire the row data bound and it will do the job for us right now <coughs> and one more thing I need to make uh, a change whatever values we are getting one thing uh, i'll do one thing i'll load the data and you can see what exactly i mean by that so right now uh, as you can see everything is in uh, red 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 these guys are red because i have given the condition as 1000 so let's make it dynamic so i'll say int dot parse and crazy parse and i'll say ddl level dot selected value dot to string right so once i have that in place now if i run this whole mechanism is dynamic 
right so now most of them are going to be red because the first thing is 500 right so everybody is above 500 the moment I chose I think a thousand right 800 let's say 800 again it's gonna choose all right so it left 800 rest all greater are selected and changed let's go to thousand so as you can see the difference so this whole thing is dynamic right so from behind the scene like uh, I mean like a requirement comes like you know you need to find out those records those values are this is just a level you can have your own custom things you know so in that case like you know you know to need to figure out things quickly okay who is the value who is the record who is doing, um, doing something better or something worse like depends on your requirement so this is the thing that can help you out right so so I hope you like the video and if you uh, really like the video then do me a favor give me a thumbs up to my videos share my videos with your friends those who are in need subscribe me for YouTube Facebook and Twitter add your comments and let me know your thoughts if you have any request I generally do like if any of the subscriber have a request I'll try to make a video based on my time right if you're an expert you think some improvements need to be done let me know in your comments thank you for watching this video bye bye for now